Hey guys, it's Polydude here, and today I'm going to make a video and a tutorial on how to show you can move your red, blue, and yellow game save files from your cartridge onto your 3DS virtual console of the respective game. Let's get into it, you guys. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Polydude here again. And um, I just want to preface this video really quick that as of the making of this video until March 2023, this video might be a little obsolete because you will need the virtual consoles from the 3DS eShop. And as many of you may know, it is closing as of March 2023. So you will need to get those um, virtual consoles before the eShop closes to be able to do this. Um, otherwise, you're kind of stuck. So this is a window of opportunity here. But um, having said that, we can go ahead and get started with what you guys need to start moving your save file up. All right, you guys, here are the things that you're gonna need. You're gonna need a cartridge um, of red, blue, or yellow, obviously, with a save file on it. Uh, you will need a 3DS game with the respective virtual console game. So I have Pokemon Yellow on this DS that I purchased from the eShop. You'll also need a modded 3DS. So this 3DS will need to have custom firmware on it of some kind. Um, I'll be having like the homebrew and checkpoint on there. Um, the next thing that you will need, oh, real quick, I won't be covering on how to mod your 3DS, but I will include a video of one that I watched, I think, that how I did it, so I'll put that in the description below. Uh, you'll also need some kind of ROM file dumper. I have the GB operator right here by Epilog. Works really well. Um, I'll put that in the description below, but it doesn't have to be that one. That's just the one I use. I have a micro SD card adapter slash reader that you'll need to be able to plug into your computer. The last thing you'll need is some kind of emulator that can be able to export a file as a battery save. That's pretty much going to be it. All the things you'll need. It's really, really simple once you understand uh, how to do it. So we're going to go ahead and jump into the tutorial now. Hey guys, here's the first step to um, getting your save file off of your cartridge. So I have the Epilog operator software here on my computer, but it's gonna, this step will be a little different for everybody because you may not have the same ROM file dumper. So I'm just assuming that you know how to take off a save file and a game file with that. But if not, I'm just going to show you how to do it with this one. So you're going to need um, the ROM file. So you'll you'll download the game. I've already done it. Just press start and then it will I saved it to directly to my desktop. And then you're going to download the save file and you just start and then do that super quick. And once you're done doing that, it should take a matter of minutes. Um, right down here, I have my dot save file and I have my um, ROM file here. So once you're done with that, you can go ahead and close out of it. You don't really need it anymore. So now I have my emulator here. This is what you'll need. So you'll bring up the game that you'll be playing. This is my Pokemon yellow game. Um, then you'll need to import. Um, I believe it is going to be battery file. And then with desktop, you should be able to see yellow save game. Open that. Uh, and then it's gonna say that's gonna erase previous data, but there isn't any on there, so that's fine. So you press continue. And then it should boot up just like normal. Um, and you can double check here and just make sure that this is your exact save file. This is, would be an important thing to double check. So um, you can go through the game. There we go. Okay, so you can go through the game and, oh wow. And, uh, Let's continue and there's my save file that is currently on there. So you know that's the correct one. So we can just press continue, which is fine. Um, I'm here on this, what is this, this Anne or whatever. But anyway, so I know where I am. And now what you're gonna do is you're gonna export as a battery file. Um, and now this should be different. And for the tutorial sake, it doesn't really matter what you name it. But I'm just gonna call it Yellow Game 2. And we're gonna save it directly to the desktop here. So now we should have our yellow game 2save file. Okay, now you shouldn't need anything else. And we'll go ahead and move over to the 3DS portion. Okay, so now we're gonna begin our preparation for moving the save file from your computer now into your 3DS. So here I have the application checkpoint. Uh, this is gonna be essential for you being able to move your save file onto your virtual console. So go ahead and open the application. Uh, and then you're gonna see your games here. Um, and these are 
um, all the games that will be on your system or a cartridge that will be in your game. Um, so we're going to pick our Pokemon Yellow here. And as you can see, I already have, you have to click on it once with A. As you can see down here in the bottom screen, I already have some um, multiple save files here just from testing and other things that I've tried out to figure out this method. So um, yeah, so what you're going to do is if you already have a save file on here, um, like if you've just been playing the game or whatever and you want to keep it, you can to you totally can. You can just press new um, and then it will ask if you want to back it up and then click yes and then it'll just have you name the save file. So I'm not going to do it because I already have a lot here, but um, yeah, you just type in it and it should just save um, you back up your file and then you'll have the copy of whatever you played on. So you can have both the copies if you would like on there. But if you're only really interested in your cartridge save, then that's fine too. But you will need to make a new, you will have to have a save file on here to be able to do this regardless. So um, go ahead and choose one. So I have one down here with test. Um, and so um, once you've done that, you've created it, you're pretty much done here. Um, you just have to have a save that um, it will create a folder on the SD card where we can put our new save file. So after you're done um, with that, you can just press the home button. Um, and you've saved it and everything, then uh, you're done here. You can click close. And we're going to be done for the 3S for this section. Okay, now hopping back over to our computer, um, you're going to take that save file that you created from the emulator, and you're going to name it sav.dat. Uh, so you're going to have to change the file um, to a dat instead of uh, uh, .save file because the um, virtual console doesn't read save files, it only reads .dat dot dat files <laughs> so yeah that's gonna be uh, it's pretty easy it might give you a bit of warning that it might be unstable but i tested it before i did this video and it worked out fine so um yeah so you'll have your save file and now what you'll need to do is you're gonna take out your S mini sd card after powering off your 3ds and you're gonna use your adapter um, which i'm currently doing at the moment as we speak Plug it into your computer um, with your, on, my 3DS is still powering off. Okay, so I'm plugging in my micro SD card. And so now we're gonna go into here. Oh, there it is. Okay, just pulled up. So um, mine might look a little bit different than yours. I don't know how you have it set up, but I have mine in 3DS things right here and checkpoint right here uh, and saves right here. So wherever your checkpoint is, that's where it's gonna be. And you'll find Pokemon Yellow. We have our test right here. And you'll see it has a secure value and it has a sav.dat uh, file. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna take this and you can, once it's already named this, you can just click and drag on here and it's just gonna ask, would you like to replace this file? And you'll say yes. And that's what you're gonna do. Um, but I tend not to mess with the secure value. I just replace that. I just click drag, replace, click yes. And then um, you can just go ahead and close out of it. Or what you can do is go back to your thing and um, right click and just eject. And then you're ready for putting it into your 3DS now. Okay, we're back on our 3DS and we're gonna be going back into checkpoint. So go ahead and open that, open that application. Then we're gonna go to our Pokemon Yellow game, and once you're in there, you'll see our files. And when we went under, I believe it was test, all you're going to do is it will say to restore the file. So you're gonna the right or the R button, I guess, the right shoulder button. Um, you'll click restore, and we'll say, would you like to restore this? And you'll say yes. So we're gonna go ahead and restore um, the save file. You can click yes. Um, I'm not going to because I already have. If I did, it would actually be in a different part of the game. <laughs> so the one that I have currently is um, Yell 3, which is the one that you guys saw on the on the bridge. So I already did this, but you'll see it here. So once you restore that, it should say it's done successfully. Um, and then after that, you're going to go ahead and exit. It's out of your game. Or up the checkpoint. And then you're going to go into Pokemon Yellow you'll finally be able to see that it should have worked in here. And there you have it. So right from the cartridge, it's got everything. So um, but yeah, that's gonna be it for this video today, guys. I really hope that you uh, enjoyed it and I hope that um, it was helpful to you. 
and you can finally reunite yourself with some of your old Pokemon into the new generations moving forward and as Gen 9 comes around. So, but with that, guys, uh, that's going to be me. Uh, please subscribe and like the video if this was helpful and share it with other people. Um, I'm trying to post a video every week and uh, we'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.